Okay, in this video we're checking out another uh, flight stack here from a new company called TTTRC. This is a F7 flight controller, uh, one of those dual F7s with a 32-bit 401 ESC. Comes in this nice little tin uh, box here, and here's what the two boards look like. Pretty standard stuff here, nothing too fancy. Let's pull these out. Okay, so here are the two boards out of the foam. Uh, we'll look at those closer here in a second. And this is what's inside, underneath there. And we got uh, two huge pieces of wire and looks like we have an XD60 connector. Looks like you have to solder that up yourself. And this has got to be like 12 gauge wire. Yeah, it's 12 gauge wire. So uh, I believe the 4 one EC is a 50 amp uh, 4 and one EC 3 to 8S, I believe. So yeah, that's probably why you're going with the massive wire, but I'm pretty sure when you go to 8S, you don't need, you need, you don't need such thick wire. So kind of wondering why they're doing that. And you got the wiring loom that's going to connect the 4 and one EC to the flight controller. Okay, they got a, looks like a Louis Air capacitor, 35 volts, 220 microfarad. That's going to, this is like way too small for if you're going to actually do 8S. Um, or 6s even. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger one than this one, but uh, it's probably just there to clean up a minimal amount of video noise. Okay, and these are the screws and other accessories here for mounting the boards. So you got a very long M3 screw, and it looks like you got some, you yeah, four of these, so you got clear plastic nylon nuts here, and you got some nylon spacers. Then a rubber grommet here for your flight controller for vibration dampening. So this is how I guess that you would mount this to your stack with the system here. Or of course you could have probably uh, use whatever system came with your frame as well. That could be used as well. Okay, so here's the uh, 400 AC, 50 amps uh, bursting this 65 amps 3 to 8 S. Comes with a current sensor. This is a uh, D-Shot 1200 capable, uh, has BL, BL Heli 32. And looks pretty generic looking. Not a whole lot of capacitors on here for filtering, so. Mm, kind of wondering, you know, what the video noise is gonna look like. I believe all these on, on the, the bottom here are the MOSFETs. And yeah, not sure if you're gonna be able to read that on camera, if that'll focus. You guys can look it up if you want. Uh, this does have a um, current sensor and it does have ESC telemetry. And I'm not really sure how many wires this is here. I think it's an eight. Looks like an eight wire wiring loom. Yeah, I believe if you go to the uh, product page, there is a wiring diagram if you're curious uh, uh, what the order of the um, wires are coming out of the, uh, the wiring harness. So you have BL Heli 32, 50 amps times 4. Also, I believe the manual is available on the uh, website as well if you guys want to download that. And then of course, the wiring harness goes to the 400 EC. If you look at this, um, the PCB here, it's not quite that thick. So usually some of the higher quality components, the PCBs, the, the boards are many, many layers and it's a lot thicker. So it could be an indication of something. Not exactly sure yet. It is on the thinner side. Here's the bottom of the flight controller. Looks like there's a spot here for a SD card that's not on here. Or SD card reader for black box data. You got your OSD chip on the bottom. That looks like a barometer. And yeah, not a whole lot. All these are plugs here. So looks like we got a LED plug here. Another LED plug there. Yeah, so they got plugs here for, it looks like on, on the bottom for four LEDs. So process, I think this, um, I believe the BEC on here is a 5 volt, 3 amp BEC. So they do mention that in the product specs that it can support, I think, up to, well, it was a lot of LEDs. I couldn't remember the exact number, it was a lot. And then here is the top here. Got a couple of voltage regulators. And I think we have, yeah, there we got 5 volts here. And ground, and I think that is going to be. This is the camera here. That's VTX. So that's this is going to be video in, and then this is video out. And then it looks like the 
the, bat the voltage going to VTX is battery voltage. And over here you have your RSSI pad, uh, B plus B minus S is for your buzzer, bootloader button. And down here on the bottom we have your UARTs, yeah, it looks like UART 1 and UART 6. You also have power, 5 volts there as well. And there's UART 3. And in case you guys are wondering, there is a total of uh, 5 UARTs on here. And I believe one of the UARTs is dedicated for the ESC telemetry line, which is going to be coming in on the wiring harness here. And as I mentioned before, this does have two gyros. It has a 32K gyro, the smaller chip there, and uh, the bigger gyro, the MPU6000, is the 8K gyro. And uh, as, as like what you would do in the other dual 7, F7 flight controllers, you have to use a CLI command to switch from the uh, one gyro to the other. I believe the 32K gyro is the default, so you'd have to switch over to the MPU6000 gyro if you want to um, uh, use the 8K gyro instead. Okay, so that's uh, going to be it for this overview video of the TTT RC flight stack. Uh, I'm going to have this in something pretty soon and uh, do some flight testing with this one here. I'm not sure exactly when. The weather's been terrible. So just going to get this video out here and show you guys what the flight stack looks like. We'll see the performance in a flight demo in a future video. And so uh, stay tuned uh, and make, have, make sure your notifications are turned on so you know when those videos are coming out and you'll have an opportunity to see this in action. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.